but in the real world, especially in machine learning, functions usually depend on many variables, so let's bump it up. f of x1, x2. Now things get spicy. With two variables, you can visualize the function in 3D. It becomes a surface. Here is an analogy. Think of house prices. x1, the size of the house. x2, the school district rating. f of x1, x2 is the price. So our surface is basically bigger house plus better schools equals more expensive house. Now just like before, we want to know, how does this function change? With two variables, there are two main perspectives, partial derivatives and the total differential. Partial derivative, hold one variable constant and wiggle the other. If you differentiate with respect to x1, you get a. If you differentiate with respect to x2, you get b. So partials tell you how much does price change if I change just the house size or if I only change the school rating. The total differential is more global. What if both change a little bit at the same time? Then df equals a dx1 plus b dx2. Since our function here is linear, this formula is exact. So where does the gradient show up? Right here. It's the vector that collects those partials. Gradient f equals a comma b. That's the gradient.